Daniel chapter 12. And at that time, shall or we're continuing from chapter 11. We don't start a sentence off with and. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince. Michael is not just an angel. He's a great prince. Which standeth for the people, for the children of thy people, Jew. Michael is the archangel, the angel over Jewish people. The children of Israel. And there shall be a time of trouble. After all what we studied just in Daniel alone. Such as never was since there was a nation. Even to that same time. So the seven year tribulation period is going to be a time that will put. What happened in Egypt, in the book of Exodus, to shame. It will put to shame the great flood of Noah's day. There has not and will not be ever such a time as Jacob's trouble. When you read the book of Revelation, the, the seal, the, uh, the vial, the woes, the trumpets, men wanting death, and guess what? They're finally going to get their health care system. They're not going to be able to die. You know, man is seeking today, oh, you know, the great way to live forever. Well, God's going to give it to them. But at that point, they're going to want to die. And at that time, thy people, the Jewish people, shall be delivered. Revelation 12, 13, 9, 4, 14, 16. Everyone that shall be found written in the book. Revelation 22, 16. Now the great flood of Noah's time was only a year and ten days. The tribulation period is seven years. Three and a half years of tribulation. And the last three and a half years of great tribulation. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake. Some to everlasting life. And some to shame and everlasting contempt. Matthew 22, 30, Luke 14, 14, John 5, 29, Acts 24, 15, 1 Corinthians 15, 24, and you just saw Revelation 20, and the books were open. Death and hell gave up the, the dead that were in them. Then this is where people will get, oh, there's two generations, there are two resurrections. True. The church age has been overlooked. We have jumped to the Old Testament right to the tribulation period. The church doesn't even, hasn't even been seen to be known. In Revelation 20, before the great white throne judgment, matching Revelation 20, Daniel 12 to... There are going to be some people at the great white throne judgment that are saved. It says, Whosoever found, was not found written in the Lamb's book of life was cast into the lake of fire. So if you say all people at the great white throne judgment will go to hell, go into the lake of fire, you're wrong. And that, and excuse me, and they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament. Stars. As the brightness of the firmament, and they that turn many to righteousness, as the stars forever and ever. You turn people to God. In Daniel's time, if you turn someone to what God expects, 
the way that God has approved. Today, if you if you bring people the saving grace of the Lord Jesus Christ by the gospel, you are likened to a star. You are that light. And Jesus says to the Jews in the gospel, he's not talking to Christians. You are that light that sitteth on a hill. Well, here's that light. What was the light he's talking about? You were supposed to guide your people to the truth, the Jews. You were supposed to bring them to Jesus Christ, the Messiah. That's exactly what the apostles did to the book of Acts. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book. Revelation 5, 6. Even to the time of the end. There's that end. That jumps right over the church age. So do we really know Daniel? Born again, Bible-believing Christians, do we know Daniel? Let me ask you a question. And some will falsely say yes to the question I'm going to ask, and you're a liar. But as a born-again, Bible-believing, saved Christian, a child of God during the church age, are you going to live during the tribulation period? And the answer is no. So you can't live Daniel. You cannot fully understand Daniel. You're not going to be living during this time of this wicked ruler called the Antichrist. You're going to be in glory. You're going to be probably if not finished as the judgment seat of the Lord Jesus Christ. Daniel will come fully alive at the period the tribulation starts. And to the Jews, the book will be unsealed when they see this character revealed. You read, let's say the Antichrist today, at the time you're hearing this, whatever date you are. I don't know how long this message will go. Well, let's say right now the, the Antichrist is somewhere in the world today. He's living. He's growing. But he has not succeeded the office as the leader of the world yet. Could you, by reading Daniel 11 and read the entire book of Daniel, could you point him out? Could you go over where he's living with your television camera and say, well, Daniel 11, Daniel says that that's the man right now. No, you can't. He could be living right now. Unless when the church is called out and the tribulation period has started, and then the events of Daniel starts going into prophecy that is living and being fulfilled, then you're going to be able to say, then the Jews are going to pick up Daniel and say, See, Daniel's closed to the unbelieving Jew today. He's still waiting for the Messiah. And some have even given up on, on that, even as the Christians given up the Lord Jesus Christ. But when that wicked shall be made known, oh, then Daniel's unsealed. And in Revelation 5, 6, there is a book that is sealed. With seven seals. Now, I'm not saying that's the book. I'm saying. But if that's Daniel. Many shall run to and fro. Transportation. And knowledge shall be increased. 2 Timothy 3.7 7. I got a note here. I'm trying to.
and there are at least 6,900 institutes of higher learning, colleges and all that. You can earn all kinds of degrees today, and you can get all kinds of initials after your name. Then I, Daniel, looked, and behold, there stood other two. There's another two. The one on this side of the bank of the river, 10-4, and he's, on, he's at the river. His friends have vacated or fallen down. They don't hear any of this, like Paul. And, uh, and the other on, the, on that side of the bank of the river. So did they have banks back then? Yeah, they had the bank of the river. Like you had the... And one said to the man clothed in linen, which was upon the waters, Matthew 14, 26. This guy is standing on the water. According to Daniel, Jesus walking on the waters was nothing new. Here is somebody standing... If not the Lord Jesus Christ himself. You ever wonder if Peter, James, and John, the disciples there, when they, after everything's happened and all that, after they realized the resurrected Christ, you ever wonder if they picked up the book of Daniel and read and said, hey, not only did we, did we see one stand upon the wars, we saw him walk on the war. And then Peter said, hey, I was out there with him. Stood upon the waters of the river. How long shall it be to the end of these wonders? Uh oh, that's a question. <clears throat> and I heard the man clothed in linen, which was upon the waters of the river. It's going to be Revelation 10 1 through 5. When he held up his right hand and his left hand unto heaven. And swear by him that liveth forever, God, that it shall be for a time, one. You ready? For time, two. Two plus one is three. And a an half. Not complete time. Three plus half is three and a half. Now the focus is put on the last three and a half years. And, and Jesus said, it wasn't for the very elect sake, except the times be shortened. None would survive. And when he shall have accomplished to scatter the power of the holy people, what do you mean scatter? When you see the abomination lie desolate, run! <laughs> now do you see Jesus speaking? Do you know why Daniel is still a sealed book to, to the Jews? Because they did not believe Jesus in his word. You know why it's open to the Christian? Because we have believed on his word. All these things shall be finished. And even when the, when the Antichrist reveals who he is to that nation of Israel, it's still got time periods left. He reveals himself at the, at the mid of the tribulation. The three and a half year point. And I heard. But I understood not. Then said I, O oh my Lord, what shall be the end of these things? Daniel has been given all these visions and he doesn't even understand. He does not have revelation. He has not heard the words of Jesus Christ. He has no gospel. Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John. He 
And he said, Go thy way, Daniel, for the words are closed up and sealed to the time of the end. Many shall be purified and made white and tried. But the wicked, the wicked, the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand. But the wise shall understand. First Kings 22, Ezekiel 14, Jeremiah 17, 9 and 10, Second Thessalonians 2, 10 to 12. There's going to be no understanding to the wicked and to the wicked, Antichrist. They lack understanding. When the Jews do run, the ones that are running are wise. And the wisdom comes from God. And from the time that the daily sacrifices sacrifice in the tribulation there is a temple there is the law there is sacrifice the daily sacrifice remember there was a lamb in the morning and a lamb at night this is the one in the morning shall be taken away Daniel 8 and the abomination that maketh desolate set it up set up do you remember somewhere in, in Daniel where the word set up came that I told you to pay attention to there's a image set up in the tribulation period in Revelation there it is what is it that makes the Jews wake up first of all this guy is sitting in the whole most holy place which is you go ask, I forget his name, but John the Baptist's dad, what it was to be in the holy place. Uzziah, ask that king what it was to be for, in a forbidden place only for priests with his leprosy spot. You ask Nadab and Abihu what it was to bring something into God's holy presence. That they weren't supposed to. And I'm not talking about the most holy place. There shall be a thousand two hundred and ninety days. A thousand two hundred and ninety days. If you take thirty days a Jewish month. Twelve months in a year. Thirty into twelve ninety is forty three months. Twelve into forty three is do you want to guess? Three years and seven months. Blessed is he that waiteth. And cometh to the thousand three hundred and five and thirty days. The thousand three hundred and thirty five days is forty four months and fifteen days. Three years and eight months. But go thou thy way, Daniel. Till the end be, for thou shalt rest. It's not going to happen during Daniel's time. He's going to be in Abraham's bosom. And even that, when Jesus uh, dies on the cross and the Old Testament saints re raised, resurrected, and stand in thy lot in the land, Ezekiel 48, 1 through 35. Daniel is going to be in the Holy Land even though he's in Babylon. 
when Daniel sees the homeland again, it's going to be the Holy Land with the Lord Jesus Christ, the Messiah, sitting as king. As Daniel will see his grandfather, David, as the prince. With a temple made by God at the end of the day. And we close the book of Daniel. And I got some dates here. Uh, let's see, you try to go through it. I don't know, it's all about that. I'm just under the place I found notes today. But this is the book of Daniel closed. 